Hey there, and welcome to video number two of the Unity Game Dev Q&A. Um, this Q&A comes from a comment in the uh, Mega Man series video number three, Bullets and Damage. Um, the user asked, how can you make the bullets shoot up and down? So let's take a look at bullets shooting up and down. So I'm going to start the project here. I'm going to go over to the player. I've added a um, enum here for called bullet direction where it's got three different cases. So case one is being able to shoot just strictly horizontal. So I can shoot right, I can shoot left. If I hold the up arrow on the keyboard, it still only shoots left. Or if I hit the down arrow key on the keyboard, it still only shoots horizontal. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch over to case two. And in case two, we can still shoot right, we can still shoot left. Now if I hold the up arrow on the keyboard, he can shoot straight up. If I hold the down arrow, he can shoot straight down. If I run and hold up, he shoots straight up. And if I run and hold down, he shoots straight down. So let's take a case, look at case three. Case three is basically a combination of the horizontal and the vertical. So I can shoot left, I can shoot right, I can shoot straight up, I can shoot straight down. However, if I run and shoot up, it goes up at an angle and it goes up in the opposite angle or it goes down and then down that way as well. So those are the three cases for being able to shoot the bullet. Um, second to two cases, um, two and three basically being for able to have um, vertical movement. So we're gonna stop that. So to be able to make these changes, um, first thing you wanna do, so I'm gonna get that out of the way, you're gonna make a change to your bullet prevab. Um, the change you're gonna make is you're gonna change the body type to kinematic. By default, it was on dynamic. Later on in the series, I ended up changing it to kinematic when we worked on Mambu because this bullet went in all kinds of different directions. But for right now, if you don't have that, you're gonna switch it from dynamic to kinematic. Next change you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock the Y constraint. So you're gonna free up the X, which it already should be free, and then you're gonna uncheck the Y. So those are the changes you're gonna make for the rigid body on the bullet. So let's actually go back to that. Let's take a look at it if you didn't make those changes. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna change my bullet to dynamic. I'm going to run this again. Let's just go over here, select the player. Let's just do case three. So I'm gonna shoot straight up <laughs> or straight down or run and shoot up. You can see how the physics is basically, the gravity is pushing my bullet back down. So that's why we change it to kinematic so that the gravity doesn't affect your bullet. Or you could do that if you wanted to. It almost looks like Bomb Man's bomb being tossed. So we're gonna stop that there. And then we're gonna look at the code changes now. So over on the code changes, we're gonna go look over at the bullet script first. Um, all I did in here is I took out the enemy the enemy stuff here where it basically applies damage so that this would run. Um, you don't have to worry about that part for your actual game, so you can leave that alone. Then we're going to look in the shoot. Um, by default, originally when I wrote this, I had it where we flip the sprite on the X um, because the bullet has like a little bit of a hint highlight in it. Um, so I end up using this. I switched it on the rotate on the transform on the Y instead now, but it doesn't really matter. This doesn't affect the way it... Um, the way the bullet shoots or anything like that. This just has to do with the graphic, if it's um, the hints going left or right. So, and we're gonna look at the player controller. We're gonna go back up to the top here. In the player controller, we add a new variable called key vertical. Uh, we capture the horizontal movement on the keyboard with this variable, but now we're gonna capture the vertical with this one. And then down here, this is the enum stuff. This is nothing new. We've used enums in a lot of other of our scripts. But we have two, three cases here. We default to case one when this starts up. So that doesn't have anything to do other than the bullet being up and down for this example. And then down here in our player direction input, we add a new line here, key vertical, and we use get access raw, and we're looking for vertical. So we're gonna trap the up and the down arrows being captured. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna look at our shoot bullet function. And this is where we switch on the enum for our three cases. So case one was strictly horizontal. This is actually the original code where all we're doing is we're looking as Mega Man facing right or is he facing left? If he's facing right, we pass in vector two dot right. If he's facing left, then we pass in vector two dot left. So the bullet's gonna go right or it's gonna go left. Case two is vertical or horizontal movement. 
So what we're looking to do here is we look at key vertical. If it's greater than zero, which basically means the up arrow is being pressed on the keyboard, we're passing vector two dot up to the bullet direction. If key vertical is less than zero, which basically means the down arrow is being pressed on the keyboard, then we're passing vector two dot down to the bullet direction. Otherwise, if there is no vertical movement whatsoever, then we just do the horizontal, and this is the same code we used before. And then we're gonna to get to this commented part in a sec. Case three is a combination of vertical and horizontal movement. So what we're looking for here is key vertical not equal to zero, which basically means either up or down is being pressed. And what we do here is we just create a new vector and we pass it horizontal and we pass it vertical. And the reason we do that is, is because we know that if the left arrow or the down arrow is being pressed, it's gonna pass, it's gonna be basically negative one in the variable. If it's not being pressed at all, it'll be zero. And if it's being pressed on the right or up, then it's a positive. So that's why we pass the vertical and the horizontal as create the vector out of that and pass as their direction. So when he's running, it'll either go up into the left or right up to the left or the bottom on the right and left, you know, stuff like that. Otherwise, there, if there is no vertical whatsoever, then we're just gonna use our original for the horizontal only. And basically up here for this is basically very similar to case three. I just broke this out. So you have an if and an else if and an else, but you can actually shorten that up to check and see if vertical is not equal to zero. And if it isn't, then you're just gonna pass the vertical as a new vector and just have the horizontal as zero. So you can actually shorten this up with this little bit here. So those are the code changes to make this work. So if you want to build into your uh, version of Mega Man where he can shoot up and down, then that's how you can do it. Um, so we're going to take a look at another question in the next video. And so if you like this, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you find it useful, you know, um, you can subscribe to the channel. We're building out Mega Man right now. We'll move on to other games after him. And so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.